Just because they got a Louis bag don't mean they got Louis money. You got Michael Kors bag, but you might have a Louis money. Oh, I'm speaking facts right there. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited that you're here. I'm always so excited to film these videos. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. I just felt like chatting today. It's a little bit of a continuation to my being in your 20s is weird. I talk a little bit about seasonal depression. And I also showed how I got this love, this little brown smoky eye. I feel like it's super, super cute and super, super full. But I really just wanted to sit down and just talk to you guys and do a little checking because I feel like towards the end of the year, there's just a lot of feelings and things in the air. Even if it's not seasonal depression, just the mood is changing. Things are happening. You start like, I don't know, towards the end of the year, it gets a little with just a little different a little wild i also talk about comparison i talk about people pleasing i talk about building confidence all that good stuff that i feel like we just are figuring out in our 20s i talk about all that today my i can't even see i'm so excited about the video <laughs> it's so ridiculous but i'm just really really excited because i was you know i love to chat to you guys i don't want to say too much because i already talked for like 30 minutes in the video but i hope you guys enjoy this video so bye for now okay hi let's get into the video it's gonna be get ready with myself so i hope you've grabbed your makeup i'm gonna go in first with uh the elf primer i don't know if it does much but i like the feeling of it okay let's start chatting which first of all how are you guys doing i don't know when you're gonna see this but it's tuesday this past weekend was thanksgiving which i feel like thanksgiving means I don't know, the holidays can be very, very iffy for people, so how was yours? Mine was pretty chill. We had good food. I hope your Thanksgiving too was chill and like no family stressed you out or made no little mean, rude comment to you. Cause I don't know what it is, but people just get people just, just get a little unhinged towards the end of the year. Um I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation and then I'm going in with my trusty chestnut. But yeah, I just wanted to chat really and I don't know if it's I don't think it's just me. I know other people go through this as well. The whole like seasonal depression and everything, which not that I didn't believe in what seasonal depression was before. And I wouldn't even say fully like depression, but I just felt like people's energy level it drops a little bit it picks up again during christmas because i don't know i feel like everybody's nicer during christmas and stuff but i feel like people's energy levels just drop because it gets dark at like 2 p.m especially if you live on like the east coast i'm from jersey so no joke at 4 30 p.m it starts to get pretty dark and like by 5 5 30 dark like dark dark outside and i think last year was the first year that i understood what people meant when they were like oh seasonal depression because when it gets dark i don't want to do anything anymore because if it's dark that means it's bedtime me and my friends are talking about this i mean we should be praying for all year round but i feel like i even i even like to kick up the prayer point a little i just like to turn up the prayer like just a little notch because i also think there's this weird thing of i feel like a lot of people pass towards the end of the year which is so weird i don't know why that happens either literally right before i filmed this video i even just saw something about somebody that passed away and it's just like I don't know the energy can be a little bit weird towards the end of the year and i don't like that i don't like that at all it's this thing or like can you make it to the next year like are we gonna make it and it just gets a little oh i also think it's this thing where all the momentum and the i guess habits that i built towards the beginning of the year i also just let them slip towards the end of the year because i'm like it's 30 days left in the year we'll start back up next year and it's like all the momentum that i've done for the last 11 months i just kind of let it slip away today was literally the first time i went to the gym in god knows how long it's been over a month that i've been to the gym well over a month i don't know it's like it gets dark i'm always tired i'm always just maybe i need some vitamin d in my system i need some sun something to and another thing is also the latter half of the year especially like november december it's a really really the busy time because like you see your family for thanksgiving you see your family for christmas there's a lot of events there's just a lot of stuff going on so that's what it was for me honestly and you guys probably have seen in my vlogs there's just been a lot going on so i think when all that happened that also like knocked me off my routine and i just kind of felt myself like slip out i'm like girl we're gonna pick up <laughs> i'm like girl we're gonna pick this back up in 2024 and i'm like no kemi like it's not easy but i'm like nah i gotta keep the momentum going and we can't let the season beat us guys we can't let it win we gotta keep going this morning it really dawned on me because i went to the gym <laughs> it was so bad this morning because I honestly wasn't even mad at myself. I was just like, as, girl, as long as you make it. I barely did a workout. I was just there. I was just dragging. And I think, you know, I think I actually might look at some vitamin vitamin D pills and stuff like that because before, even if I go to bed at like, I'm talking like 3 a.m., my body would naturally wake up by maybe like 7 a.m. I would say because my body's just accustomed to waking up that early. Now, sometimes I'll wake up at like 8, 9 a.m. 
and I'm barely, and I'm barely making it. It's because I snooze my alarm and I actually have to go somewhere. Of course, I'm going to go with my Huda Beauty Powder and Banana Bread. I can never say Banana Bread. Banana Bread just sounds better. Banana Bread. Which also, there's no direction for this video. I'm just chatting about things that I felt like chatting about right now. We just chatting. And I feel like along with see this whole seasonal, I don't like to call it depression. The seasons change is a lot of reflection. I feel like towards the end of the year, people start looking back and reflecting on the year, me included. I'm pretty sure you too, no lie. We're both doing it. Where it's like, we're reflecting on the year and we're kind of just kind of like, dang. I talked about this in another video. I really, really hope. And I'm saying we, cause I know, I'm, I feel like other people do with it. I just hope we get to a point where we look back and like, we're really, really proud of ourselves for the year and not to a point of like, oh dang this didn't happen or that didn't happen type of thing maybe you thought you'd get a new job you didn't get a new job maybe you thought you'd get that dream apartment and maybe this is the year that you said i'm gonna take tiktok seriously and you've posted all the five videos this year i feel like this is the time where people start to really really reflect because i think towards the end of the year it's very evident the goals that you accomplish or not because again you're reflecting and things happen and sometimes the goals that we want to accomplish I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I w I'm gonna use this as an example. I feel like this is a season where comparison really kicks in. Comparison is a thief of joy, number one. But why am I doing my lip liner right now? Why did I just do that? I made a whole video about this, about how being in your 20s is so weird. And I feel like one of the things that has come along in my 20s that I've been like really, really working on is like comparison because everybody is such in different stages of your li of their lives. And along with ref personal reflection, I also think we look to other people around us as also another like metric for reflection of like, oh, how did we do this year? Like, how did your friends do? Or we go on social media and we're like, oh, what did this person do? And all that stuff. But I think it's so important to truly remember that everybody is running their own race in this life and we really, really can't compare. And that's been like one of the things that I've been trying to like sink into my to my skull, my medulla, is like, girl, everybody's on a different path in life. And I say that because I think that holiday season is such a beautiful season, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make it seem negative. But even like, what's it called? A lot of people also getting, it's a very, very, my brain is all over the place right now. I'm trying to get centered. I don't know. It's just so evident. I even think about couples and stuff like that. Maybe you, maybe you and your boyfriend have been together for a little while. And you're like, dang. Because a lot of people, people get engaged during the holiday season, like Thanksgiving, Christmas. People really propose a lot during the holiday season. So I feel like you're like, dang, me. I got in the same. I got in a relationship at the same time they did. And where's my ring at? I feel like it's so so easy to get in that mindset of just other people are doing stuff or this person got maybe a Louis Vuitton back for Christmas and my man got me I don't know a Michael Kors purse again I think with the holiday season it's very very evident because people not that people are showy but they show that's when people are going to maybe post them and their boyfriend at like a Christmas show or they're going to show what their family got them for Christmas because you know you got to do a little Christmas wish list and show what you got and all that stuff especially with Thanksgiving because people are going to post about how they're so excited to go back home, how they're so excited to be with family because their family's all happy and dandy and you're just like, not really. Like that's not my, that's not my scenario at all. And I think it's so easy to get in that mindset of comparison because like, dang, they have a good family. I don't, they're showing you what they want to show you. I will always say that. I don't even know where I'm going with this point. But I think comparison can really, really lead you down a hard path of dang this person got a ring and a Louis Vuitton purse and they got this and they got this and you're like wait but what about me? One thing that my mama says the same path that some one person takes to succeed is not the same path that somebody else will take to succeed and this advice really really helped me out because I think sometimes it's like you have your own idea or plan but it's maybe not happening as a I didn't even mean for this video to get so serious. I truly wanted it to be like lighthearted and just chatting. But comparison is just such a big topic and I really, really want to touch on it. And I think comparison can be really, really detrimental when you have your own plan and ideas, but it's maybe not happening at your own timeline. And then you start looking at somebody else and like my mom said, why did my voice just change? <laughs> Sometimes you have your own plan and idea and it's a brilliant idea. It just maybe needs some time before you get to where you want to get to. But because it might not be happening as fast, you're like, Oh, but this person is doing this, this person is doing it. Like, as much as I work on media and I do media, I'm very mindful of how much content I consume because I never wanted to get to a point of, oh, wow, she succeeded in that. Maybe I can do that and try to replicate it. And it's like, nah, she succeeded because that's her path. He succeeded because that's his path. That doesn't have to be my path. And I think comparison can kind of lead you astray because now you're trying to 
grab onto everybody's idea and do it at once when it's like you have a, a beautiful original idea you just need to follow your own path but i'm so preachy sometimes and i really don't mean to be but i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why anyway i'm about to do my eyeshadow now i don't know if i want to do something fall fall or like just something simple no i want to do like a brown smoky eye yeah i'm gonna go browns y'all yeah, remember the era of the brown smoky eyes my gosh that was a good old time I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. It's real, real dingy, so I'm gonna make it work. But to wrap up this whole little tangent that I've gone on, the end of the year is weird. It gets you in your feels. It gets you feeling all types of ways, but don't let it beat you up. We shall come out on the other end of this year in Jesus' name, so. I'm gonna go in with this like brown shimmery shade. You can't even see it. It's just like brown shimmery shade, just for a little like brown smoky eye moment. I want like warm browns today. Anyway, the next thing that I really wanted to talk about was, uh, and it kind of ties into comparison, and that's like building confidence. Confidence is one that I don't even think I knew that I, sh I wouldn't say that I struggled with it. Actually I did. I struggled with it a little bit. And it wasn't until somebody said something that I realized that I even did this. I literally saw the TikTok video of this guy. I don't even remember what he was talking about. He goes something, something like not looking in like the mirror phase or something like that. Like, I guess maybe like, going through a downtime and i didn't even realize i did this until i remember when people be talking about like the whole like when they went through the whole anastasia dip brow phase and everything like that and i was like you know what i used to use i didn't use dip brow but i used makeup forever they had this like a little gel thing and i used like the darkest color and i used to just and all i did to school were my brows sometimes mascara not every single day all i did were my brows so i just know that i probably looked a little crazy and i thought that it looked good so i was trying to go find some pictures of it and stuff and i realized that like from the age of, I want to say like 13, 13 till about, mainly in my high school years, I don't have a lot of pictures from that year. And I don't like, when I tell you I don't have a lot of pictures, I really don't have a lot of pictures from that year. You know how now I can look, I can have selfies here, selfies there and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't have nothing from there. And I didn't even realize that I was not really, I wasn't really looking at in the mirror. I didn't realize that it was something that I was doing up until I went to go find pictures from those years. And they were nowhere to be found and confidence is one that it's a hard thing and i don't think you're ever really done building confidence i think it's literally a continuous thing but i will say confidence and comparison they kind of go hand in hand and it also goes hand in hand with another topic that i'm going to talk about which is people pleasing because <laughs> i struggle with that a lot but like one of the things that i've been learning is true like when you're more confident you're not as you don't fall into comparison as much and that's because when you're so sure about yourself and who you are, one, you don't try to people please because who's gonna tell you anything? And number two, you don't try to compare because you are so sure about what you're gonna do. Like I mentioned, getting the habit of, oh, maybe she did this so I can try that, I can try that, I can try that. I feel like if you really, really are confident in what you're doing, I don't think you will look at what she's, what somebody else is doing and be like, oh, maybe I should try and dibble dabble in that because maybe that will work. And one of the ways that I truly gas myself up is because I pray about my business and God giving me new ideas and all that stuff. So like certain times when I get an idea, I'm like, that's the Holy Spirit that just gave me that idea. And like, I don't care if it might not come across well. There are certain times where my videos, they don't get, it's, they don't get thousands and thousands of views. Sometimes they don't even get a hundred views. But I watch those videos back and I'm like, yeah you spoke facts and i'm so proud of my videos because i think confidence really ties into happiness as well too because those videos i'm really really happy about them that even though it might not get as much views and that could be something that i could tie my validation to i'm confident that like god gave me that idea and even though i do want other people to see it regardless if they do or not i'm still confident and i still believe that like that's a good video because a lot of times it happens where i'm really editing and i forget that i'm supposed to be editing because i'm like yeah you're speaking facts because i truly got to a point of like nah this is what i'm supposed to do and don't get me wrong i have my days where i slip up a little bit i talked about that in one of my last videos we're trying to work on it but for the most part generally speaking i look back at some of my videos and i'm like yeah that, that that was good that was good one. that was a really really good one i just be going off on tangents i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore but i think confidence truly truly gets to a point of just really really believing in yourself and i know it's not easy but one of the things that i feel like i've been really really doing to like work on my confidence is to make sure that i look in the mirror like i stare at myself till i like it i think a lot of times we're not really aware of our actions and like not looking at yourself in the mirror is something so little but it's something that makes a world of a difference and another one this is the one that i just started doing and i've really been trying to work on is like whenever i look at something new 
whenever I'm watching a video, I think noticing the positive in things, I truly believe we're like a reflection of one another and whatnot and all that stuff. And I believe that if you start to notice the positive in other people, you're bound to reflect that on yourself. They always say the way people treat each other is a reflection of how they feel about themselves or what's going on in their life. And I truly believe that if you make an intentional effort, and not just to be fake nice, but if you truly make an intentional effort, to just notice the positive things in life and other things and other people, I think you're bound to reflect that back to yourself, which is gonna just develop your confidence a little bit more. So I feel like that's one thing that I've been trying to be aware I'm not the best at it yet because it's a new habit that I'm building, but whenever I'm like watching a new video, like a TikTok video pops up on my page, I try to notice the positive thing. And this is a little sidebar, but I think it does help as well too. If there's a video that's a little funky, and I know that if I go in the comments, I'm not gonna, I might not say it, but somebody else would have said it and I would have laughed at it, I try to scroll. I truly really just try to focus on the positive now yeah but building confidence is one that it's a lot because to truly get to a point of you don't care like i'm just a fool like nobody can tell you anything is not an easy journey i would say i don't even know where i am in my makeup routine anymore but my blushes my brush is looking a little funky so i'm gonna spray myself down and another thing that i've really been trying to do to work on my confidence is I like to call people to ask for opinions a lot. I know it's something that I do. Like, I have to call my sister and I have to call a friend to be like, hey, what do you think about this? But sometimes I'm like, no, girl, stop it. Like, you make the decision by yourself because it's also like, you gotta just stand firm in your decision. And yeah, sometimes I bully myself a little bit because I'm like, cut it out. I'm like, no, but I wanna call to ask for their opinions. Like, no, sit with that decision and make a decision that you'll be proud of and don't let anybody sway you otherwise or feel like this. Because I think when you do stuff like that, that's when people pleasing comes in. And the, which now leads into my third topic of, I feel like when you truly get to a point of like full confidence, people pleasing kind of goes out the window. There are certain times in decision where I feel like I can't say I had everybody's approval, but I know that like, I'm not gonna have everybody's approval. As much as people love Beyonce, there are probably people that don't like Beyonce. And imagine if she got upset because people didn't like her. Or imagine if she didn't release certain music because she feels like, oh, maybe this is a little like out of the scope of my regular genre and some people might not like it. And if you try to win everybody's approval, you're gonna be upset for a long time. And one thing I realized with the whole people pleasing thing is that there's always gonna be somebody that's not happy. There should always be somebody that's not happy and sometimes that's you. I will never forget there were times where like I would be tired out of my mind but I was like no I don't feel like disappointing people maybe I was too tired and like I really needed to rest but I was like no I want to fit all the clients in and stuff like that. At the end of the day I was the one that was tired and like upset and stuff and they they were perfectly fine because it's just like every what I have two models on life one of them is I can't come and kill myself and that's my whole model in this life with the whole people pleasing. You can't come and kill yourself. Oh, because this person's upset because you did this. This Everybody, last, last, this is very Nigerian again. Last, last, everybody will be okay. I always say this. Oh, this person said this. Oh, this happened. Oh, this person, da, 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 da. everybody will be okay. And like, everybody will be okay. And I think that's one of the things that I had to tell myself in truly trying to get over people pleasing and feel like, oh my gosh, this person's gonna feel disappointed. Okay, so they feel disappointed. Two days later, are they gonna remember? No, you're gonna be the one that has to live with that decision. I really had to learn this, especially when there were things that I just didn't have the capacity to do, but I wanted to do it on the name of people pleasing and stuff. They will get that yes and they'll move on with their life, but I'm the one that has to sit with either the anger or the frustration or the tiredness or the bitterness or whatever the case might be. I'm the one that has to sit with that emotion and they moved on with their life. And that's when I had to realize that like, Nah, Kami, you have to do what makes you happy. You have to do, and this is how it ties back to the whole confidence thing. I think when you become very confident, you don't care about pleasing people. You just care about doing what is best for you and not in like a selfish way where it'll harm other people. I'm, I'm not saying screw everybody, forget their feelings. I'm gonna hurt people, I'm gonna step over people, no. But also know that like, hey, I'm just gonna make a decision that's the best for me right now. I'm sorry if that's maybe disrupts your plan, but I'm gonna make what's, I'm gonna do what's best for me right now. You don't have to subject yourself to being in places where you don't wanna be. I think that's where confidence really, really kicks it up. Well, I know everybody doesn't like it, but I'm proud of my decision. Like when you get to that level, 
that's confidence to where it's like nobody can tell you jack the least squat it's just like i'm gonna and the one thing i realized is confidence is not loud it's not i feel like that's the main difference between confidence and cocky a cocky person gonna let you know about something a confidence person it's just subtle movements in the way they act where no i'm okay and and this is something again it's a whole this whole topic it all ties into each other a confident person can sometimes be challenging to a people pleasing person because i felt like when i was younger there were people that i met that were confident and they were just you know more direct in their approach and i used to always think that direct meant rude and it's like no they're just confident and they have boundaries and there's nothing wrong with that that's actually a great thing to have but me being people pleasing i'm like you're rude how dare you say no to me because you should try to make everybody happy and it's like they don't have to do that they can just be like yeah no i'm sorry i'm not available for that and it challenges and now looking back i'm like i like people that can just be like nah yes they're very confident in their decision they don't need a thousand and one opinions and i'm trying to learn that a little bit and something happened recently with something happened recently and we experienced both ends of the spectrum basically and people still came out upset on both ends like people were upset the first time people were upset the second time even though it was two extremes and that's when i learned you can't make everybody happy and again the people pleasing and you wants to fight that you're like no i'm just being nice no you're just being a pushover i'm talking to myself too it's one that i've been really working on and it's very uncomfortable especially when you're like say no and it might not be it might not be accepted well when you're first doing it because it's different but I think you also need to let your friends and family and just give them a little bit of room to grow to this new you, basically. Guys, this makeup look is so, so pretty. I want to go do a few things off camera really quick. I add a little shimmer, a little gold shimmer in my inner corner. And I think it just always, just always, just, it always, just always, just always, just wakes the eye up. And I want these lashes that have a little bit of spike. How we can just, like, look how pretty. That pimple was trying to play with me, but whatever. Oh, confidence. Don't phone on your own insecurity. Yeah, I think that was all I wanted to say. I really had no direction for this video. I just wanted to talk. <laughs> I just wanted to talk. So truly, truly just let us all know that like, one, if you're feeling like down and sad during this time of the year, like it's not, it's not just you. It's not abnormal. Like don't feel alone. Don't isolate yourself or anything like that. Truly try and get out there and force yourself. Like I said, don't let your feelings of I feel down stop you from still going through this year and like pushing through and finishing strong because I think that's like one of the worst things we can do is to truly just is to truly just like isolate ourselves be proud of yourself as much as you're celebrating all the holidays also celebrate yourself there are a lot of things that you've done this year that you should be proud of and you should be happy about and you should not let somebody get in a Louis bag or you got a Michael Kors bag make you feel like you're not doing stuff just because they got a Louis bag just because they got a Louis bag don't mean they got Louis money. You got Michael Kors bag, but you might have a Louis money. Oh, I'm speaking facts right there. <laughs> I'm spe I'm preaching to somebody out there. Yeah, anyway, to wrap up this video, don't try and get in that mindset of like, I'm going through this alone. And then with like my last pe three points of developing confidence, people pleasing, and comparison, they all go hand in hand. And my two mottos in life. I forgot the, oh, I forgot, that was, the, that was one of the ones that I forgot. Number one, like I told you, truly tell yourself, I can't come and kill myself. Last, last, everybody will be okay. Everyone will be just fine. You can't come and stress yourself because your auntie said something. You can't stress yourself because your mom said something. Your dad said something. Your boyfriend, your partner. The, what you just, in this life, you can't stress yourself. You can't come and kill yourself. Do what you can. Leave the rest up to God. Like stress is not good. Stress it makes you lose hair. It makes you break out. A little stress is just not good in this life. And I promise, when you get to that point of I can't come and kill myself, it's truly a point of freedom. It is a point of freedom because you're just like. Well, it is what it is. But the other mindset that I've, that I've learned is who's gonna beat me? Who's gonna beat me? Again, with the whole people pleasing thing of, oh, this person's upset, this, who's gonna beat me? What, nobody is? Okay, I'm fine with my decision. Yeah, <laughs> that's how. As long as I'm not causing you any harm and I'm prioritizing peace, I'm okay. Because at the end of the day, no, like, ser no, like, and it sounds so like ridiculous, but you truly have to ask yourself if you say no, will the world end? I think sometimes we make these things such big magnitudes. It's like, oh my gosh, if we don't help them this time, if we don't do this this time, if they things won't work, everything will work. La like I said, last, last. If you're not Nigerian, last, last means basically at the end of the day. At the end of the day, everyone will be okay. Nobody's gonna beat you, and you can't come and kill yourself. That's my mess. You know what? That's my message today. Who's gonna beat me? I can't come and kill myself. 
last last everybody will be okay don't people please so much to the point where you're now the last thing on your priority list don't do that i mentioned this before of things where i felt like it was the end of the world where i had to help somebody i have to do I, everyone will be okay life will go on. like you know i think sometimes in life we make life so stressful this is a whole tangent but we make life so stressful so we don't make life stressful but we just we make things bigger than they should be and it's just like everything will be okay everything will be okay and so that's my whole tangent this is like a part two to my videos of being in your 20s is weird and whatnot but i hope you guys enjoyed it i want to see your makeup look send them to me on instagram i'm gonna add my instagram let me know if you also did a brown smoky eye should i go do my edges i don't feel like doing my edges because i'm about to take out my hair guys but should i film this let me know if i should film a tutorial i don't know what i'm gonna do next i have an idea what i want to do next i was gonna do like a little alicia keys corner that i've been trending i don't know if it's actually by alicia keys but i feel like that's not gonna last me as long and i'm gonna have to do my hair again this year and i don't want to do my hair again this year so i think i might just do a full head of twist just smaller i think that's what i'm gonna do for my hair yeah because this the corner oof you can't even see my parts anymore i'm doing the brand a disservice but that's it for me guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like it's always a good time chatting to you and although i can't physically see i feel like i feel like i, I could see you guys being like mm, true 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 and she's like i feel we're chatting back and forth even though we're not but of course like i always mention comment down below let me know your thoughts and your opinions how are you building confidence how have you overcome people pleasing how are you how are you getting through this like changing of season and all that so comment down below we got this guys we got this girl and we gonna make it through <laughs> anyway that's it for me bye <sighs> this one's gonna beat me. If I say no, I say no. Life goes on. <laughs>